Hello again. Today we start our next topic on algorithms design and analysis course sorting methods. And we start with bubble sort. Bubble sort, or sometimes called thinking sort, is a simple sorting algorithm which compares the neighbor or adjacent elements in an array and swap them if they are in the wrong order. For example, if we have the array elements 3, uh, 5, 2, 4, 1. We compare 3 with 5, no need to swap. Now 5 with 2, we swap them. Now we compare 4 with 5. We swap them. Now we compare 5 with 1 and we swap them. Do you see the array is not sorted yet? But we have the largest value here. So we done with the pass 1. Now we continue. But no need to include this element in the next pass, the largest, since it is in uh, uh, the proper place. Three and two, we swap them. Uh, three and four, no need to swap. Four and one, we swap them. We're done with the, this pass, this pass two. And now we have the largest element here. So need, no need to include it uh, in the next pass. And we continue in the same manner. Do, do you see number of comparisons uh, in, in each pass is less than uh, in the previous by one. So we have a pseudo code for this for i equals 1 to n for j equals 1, 2. Here we need n minus i. And now we compare if a uh, sub j is uh, greater than a sub j plus 1, then swap these elements, a sub j, and this is a pseudo code, a sub j plus 1. Next, next. This is the pseudo code for the uh, bubble sort. This is the pattern program for the bubble sort. Again, we have here the array n equals to length of the array for i in range n, j in range 0, n minus i minus 1. Here minus 1 because the uh, index in Python starts from zero. Now we compare if a sub j is greater than a sub j plus one, then we swap using temporary location or we can include a swap function. We continue this process. After that, when we reach the statement, the array will be sorted and we print the array. Do you see here we have a nested loop? And uh, you already know that if the step is increasing or decreasing by constant, 
then the complexity for the internal loop is n and n for the external so the big o for the bubble sort is n square regarding space complexity uh, uh, we do not need extra space in the bubble sort or even stack and bubble sort is called any place sorting in place sorting technique there are uh, other sorting uh, techniques and methods that performs than uh, better than bubble sort such a, such as insertion uh, a quick merge sorts uh, in the next lecture we I'm going to explain these sorting methods for now. Thank you.